We have all been there before. Drop a couple thousand dollars to secure an order for our brand new Mopar and wait three, six, seven, nine, maybe even 11 months before our vehicle gets built. And all throughout that process, no one can tell you when your order is in the build phase, why people who ordered after you got built first, and when your vehicle even gets shipped out. Well, it looks like Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and Fiat is finally getting around to doing something about it. Thanks to a few people leaking me an email, there are three tracking services coming. But what if I also told you I had the dates for when a new tracking website will come online? The head of U.S. Sales for Solanda says in his email, as sold order volume continues to increase, we have identified the need to improve the email communications that these customers receive from Solantis on the status of their vehicle. Now, I'm not sure if this is because they know the sold order volume increase, but rather a response to customers constantly pissed off on a lack of information. You can go to about any Mopar themed form or Facebook group and I bet you'll see thousands of people pissed off on a lack of communication on their 70 to 80 to 90 thousand dollar order. I have a 2021 Ram TRX and I can tell you that from October 2020 to December of that year, literally everyone was so pissed off and frustrated, Ram had to release emails to customers in December to let them know exactly what month their TRX will be delivered. I don't recall any other time in the last few years of customers getting emails telling them exactly when their vehicle would arrive at the dealerships from Dodge or Jeep or Ram. Based on the email, Solanus will start this week sending customers a series of six emails at different stages of the order process. There will be two parts to this service. Immediately you'll get email updates and then there will be a tracking website that I'll talk about in a few minutes but the emails you get will be at each milestone along your order's journey. So make sure your salesman has the correct email address for your order or you'll be SOL. The first milestone you'll get an email for is when you submit your order. The second email you will get is when your order is scheduled. This basically means once your order goes into C status, which is when you'll finally get a VIN number. Now this email is the one I had the biggest issue with and the most questions about. Does this email let you know what month or week your vehicle is scheduled to get built or does it just simply tell you that you're on the schedule? Every single vehicle that is in C or D status has a build week that is scheduled in the system. Your VIN number is tied to every part that comes in from suppliers and they need that build week to put on the schedule when they have your parts delivered for your build. For example, if some Stellantis employee gives you a build week of 6-2, that means your vehicle is on the schedule in the plant to be built the week of 6-2 and not the actual date of 6-2. Since the suppliers know this date, they know they need to have your parts built and shipped to the plant within two weeks of that date, which is the same time period your vehicle is in D1 status. If your parts don't come in that time period, that's one of the reasons why you'll drop out of D1 status and you won't proceed until they get there. Basically, once you get a VIN number, anyone with access to the vehicle inquiry system knows exactly what week your vehicle is scheduled to get built. And no, no one at the dealership has access to this system. Only certain Stellantis employees have the capability of pulling this build week. I doubt Stellantis will tell you the exact week your vehicle is scheduled because you might be pissed that your order is taking six to seven months at one dealership and your buddy or guys on the forums order from a different dealership and their orders are scheduled two to three months out. So I'm pretty sure they only tell you your VIN number and that you're on the schedule, even though they know exactly what week your vehicle will be made. Now that date can change for a variety of reasons, from production line being shut down to part shortages. So just know that that date is not exactly set in stone, but I know last year when I was giving it for people, it was pretty much like 90% accurate. Just saying. The third email happens when your vehicle actually starts the assembly process. That would be status code E when the stamping plant is putting together your shell and the frame for your order. The fourth email happens when your vehicle has finished the build process. 
that would be status code J when your build is okayed. The third and fourth email should be two to three days apart from each other. Three things to note about this fourth email. One, you will not get this email if your vehicle wind up as an I status. Ram carriers and dealers will tell you some line that your vehicle is in quality control or they're doing extra checks. Depending on what it is, it could be a couple hours to a couple weeks until you escape out of the status code. So just understand that it might take a while for this fourth email to come. Second thing to note is when your vehicle reaches J status, this is when your vehicle will receive its build sheet. I'll leave a link in the description to pull up your build sheet. All you have to do is put in your full VIN number right after the equal sign and 24 hours after your vehicle has been built, you should be able to retrieve it. The third thing to notice is that when you get your estimated ship date sometime after you go D1, you should be able to subtract two to three days from that date and this is most likely the day that your vehicle will be built. During the normal assembly process, it takes two days for your vehicle to be built and shipped. And that leads me into the fifth email you'll get when your vehicle is shipped or more accurately released from the plant. That's basically KZ status. After this point, this is when your vehicle will finally get a window sticker generated online, usually 24 hours after it happens. The final email you'll get is when your order has actually arrived at the dealership. The end of your Mopar ordering nightmare is finally over, but I will say, Take photos and videos of everything on that vehicle. Drivetrain issues are an easy one to repair. Cosmetic issues, some dealers will swear up and down it's your fault and you need to pay for it out of your pocket. I had to go through five months of crap from a dealer not want to put in a warranty claim for scratches on my fender flares and coatings coming off of my bumper. Lucky me, I had photos and videos of my vehicle while it was at the dealer I sent it off to Ram Cares, and within a week, my warrant to repair was approved and new parts for me was sent. So please, CYA yourself because some dealers will leave you SOL. Just saying. And while talking about dealers, they have no excuses anymore about the status of your vehicle with these six milestones. This email states that Solanus will provide daily communications to the new car sales manager so that each salesman will be informed of sold customer orders every day. So every day, a salesman will get a daily report of these milestones I talked about in this video. So even if your email address is wrong and you don't get any updates from Solantis, you should be able to get info straight from your dealer. But that's not all, it gets even better. At the end of May, you don't have to deal with the crap at some dealers anymore. You can simply go on Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, Ram, and Fiat websites and track your order from there. The email says they will launch a self-service tracking tool that customers can utilize. And each brand site will have access to an integrated tracking site for customers to access the status of their order as much as you want. It'll probably be the same info you'll get in these six emails. I don't think they're going to tell you when your vehicle is scheduled to be built on this website. They'll probably just let you know the six things in the emails, but it would be cool if they actually did live updates or even images of your build when it goes through frame, paint, trim, the build gets okayed, run through its various checks just like the BSR track, the Mopar shop, and then it finally gets released. And that's it. Three new ways to get information about your order and the end the excuses by dealers that claim they don't know what's going on. But if you want to know what's going on with the three cars Dodger will unveil this year, you can check out this video right here.